immersion research day one. Restate my objectives. I will gain insight into the Gorilla family group, not by detached observation, but by full and active participation. In order to do so, I must become accepted as a member of the colony. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind. Uh, too, too kind. <laughs> I must act like a gorilla. Think like a gorilla. I must, in essence, become a gorilla. I say, boys, uh, any chance of uh, stopping for tea soon? <laughs> I'm positively pooped. <laughs> <clears throat> I have been traveling with the colony for, uh, for 22 minutes now, and I feel powerful bestial instincts awakening within me. I fear I may already be more animal than man. <gasps> uh, uh, would any of you happen to have a needle and thread by uh, chance? Uh, anyone? Oh, hurry, dear, hurry. The colony's juveniles are establishing their social positions, and I have to assert my dominance. Oh, honestly, Daddy, at this rate, we'll both be running around in loincloths. Hmm? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with running around in a loincloth, mind you. <sighs> well, I, I just wouldn't mind having a fresh change of clothes now and again. Yes, yes, that would be rather nice. A dress, maybe? A sturdy cotton blend certainly suits this climate. Some decent shoes and... Size five and one half, if uh, memory serves me. Fresh linen. Soap, perfume, one of the latest hats. <gasps> what is that? It appears we have visitors. They're staying. Who's staying? Who? Yeah. And why? We could simply ask them. Come now. Shouldn't we all be friends? We saw movement in the jungle. Thought they were rhinos. Rhinos? Do they look like rhinos to you? Uh, I must apologize for my men. They are a bit jumpy. They didn't realize that you were... So, the stories are true. Your Tarzans, this savage wild man I've been hearing so much about. You seem to have us at a disadvantage, sir. Who are you? 
That's easy. I'm a businessman. Renard Dumont, at your service. I'm the sole owner and proprietor of Dumont's trading post. And where, pray tell, is Dumont's trading post? Why, it's right here. Or it soon will be. Here? But, but there's no one around for miles. You're here, aren't you? And you're certainly not the only people in Africa. We're not? <laughs> Hardly. Why, cities are popping up all over the coast. Railroad tracks will soon span the continent. Hey. Africa is growing fast, and I intend to grow along with it. You mean profit along with it? But of course! <laughs> Cages. One of the many items I provide. Do these interest you? They do. Tarzan, wait! You will stay away from the gorillas in this valley. Some sort of ape lover, is that it? I am one of them. My dear Tarzan, I give you my word. I have no interest in your gorillas. There. Ah. Now let's put all this unpleasantness behind us, shall we? Excellent. Come, Tarzan. I think it's time we left. Wait, please. How about a little something before you go? My compliments, of course. No, thank you. We're doing quite well on our own. Come now. There must be something you can use. Canned food, tea, some new clothes, perhaps? Did you say clothes? You know, I was suspicious of that Dumont fellow at first, but I say, any man who stocks the latest Paris fashions, well, he must have a few decent qualities, wouldn't you say? As long as he stays away from the gorillas. Hey, I got a question for you. I've got an answer. That trading post was built in the rhino herding area, was it not? Mm, I guess. So they had to clear the rhino herd out of there, am I right? I'm with you so far. I didn't see a single rhino the whole time we was there. Did you? I did not. Okay, so here comes my question. What happened to the rhino herd? <laughs> They're headed right for the gorillas! <gasps> and Daddy! Oh, feeding time, is it? Oh, uh, very well, very well. I can best ensure my acceptance into the colony by proving my worth as a food provider. Ah. <laughs> Prepare to eat well, my gorilla brethren. <laughs> Oh, I don't believe I got a bite. Oh! 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 Ah! Victory! Victory! Rejoice, my fellow gorillas! Rejoice! <laughs> Rain. Uh, oh dear. Something I should know about. Is everyone okay? I think so. I wish I could say the same for our lunch. Who invited them? Perhaps um, they won't mind if I just grab a little bit of water. Or perhaps not. Not real big on sharing, are they? <laughs> what are they doing here? What we have here is what we in the scientific field would call a classic ripple effect. 
The trading post is being built here, which, like a large boulder diverting the path of a river, has displaced the rhinos from their herding area. So the rhinos, in turn, have moved into the gorilla territory. Well, I hope you... Oh, gee! Oh! <laughs> Indeed, what happens to one species in any contained ecosystem will inevitably affect other species in the same system. Look, I don't care about your contained eco it. I just got one question, all right? What are the gorillas supposed to do now? We'll have to leave. There's no other way. But this is our home. There simply isn't enough food and water here for both the gorillas and the rhinos. We'll just move on to a new home like we've done before. What if I can get the rhinos to go back? Then I'd be very impressed. Easy, easy, bring it down slow now. Why, if it isn't Tarzan, my favorite ape man. Now, boats will arrive at the dock. Main inventory will be housed in this room over here. You must leave. I beg your pardon? The rhino herd you drove off has moved into gorilla lands. I see. Then you will give the rhinos their land back. Mm. No, I won't. Yeah, look, but the gorillas are your problem, not mine. As I told you before, I have no interest in gorillas, neither in harming them nor in helping them. You know you are a dangerous fellow, Tarzan. <laughs> I believe you would be more valuable to me as a friend. If you stay, we will not be friends. Perhaps. But we don't have to be enemies, either. I found that these were very effective in driving rhinos away. I could extend you a line of credit. Very well. You know where to find me if you change your mind. Use explosives on the rhinos? That's what Dumont suggested? To just blow them to smithereens? Well, I mean, it's the most barbaric thing I've ever heard. He called it effective. Yes, well, if Mr. Dumont is being so unreasonable about the whole thing, perhaps you could just go to the rhinos themselves and persuade them to leave. Hmm. Perhaps I could. Tarzan just told him to lead his herd out of the area. What did he say? What did he say? Well, I'm not sure what the literal translation would be, but it, it's something like, uh... He said no. <laughs> now Tarzan is trying to reason with him. Oh, good, excellent. Diplomacy is always the best policy in dealing with... <laughs> Hey, in the jungle, that is diplomacy. Rhinos aren't exactly known for their sportsmanship. I guess this 
means the rhinos stay? And the gorillas leave. Hold still now. Uh. I don't think anything is broken, thank heaven. Of course nothing's broken. My man Tarzan is like a rock. Right, <clears throat> buddy? See? It's all good there. Tarzan, we can't stay here any longer. The family has to leave. I can fix this. Uh. Uh. It's over, Tarzan. We have to move on. Then I will lead you. And what about Jane? Your place is with her. She could travel with us. And her father? He could come too. He's yeah, all packed and ready to go. <laughs> Shall I take the lead or just... Oh, no! They're not gorillas, Tarzan. You know they can't make it out there with us. I promised Kerchak I would protect this family. And you have. But Jane is the one that really needs you now. We'll make out on our own. Here we are. Just a few more bandages. Take care of my son. We leave in the morning. All right, remember to stay warm and groom yourself properly. And get at least eight hours of sleep a night because you know how cranky you can be. Right, all right. Enough already. You're making a scene here. No, oh, I'm going to miss you too, you big lug. I know you feel just awful about this, darling, but you must understand. You've done everything you could. No, but I'm going to. <laughs> Excellent. We should open by the end of the week. You and I have business. What sort of business? My credit. It's still good. Oh, of course. What did you have in mind? This. <laughs> An excellent choice, my friend. That should take care of your little rhino problems, hmm? You understand the ways of man better each time we meet. Now let me show you how to use these items. I mean, we can't have my very first customer blowing himself to bits now, can we? Tarzan? Tarzan? Hmm. <laughs> Have you seen Tarzan? Not since he got back from the trading post. Well, what was he doing there? Oh, probably still figuring a way to get rid of those rhinos. <laughs> Explosives? The rhinos? Oh my goodness, we have to stop him!
So, uh, perhaps you could give me some pointers on how to become more uh, gorilla-like, huh? Of course. For starters. For starters? Put some clothes on, would you? You're not the loincloth type. Trust me on this. But gorillas don't wear clothes of any sort. Well, yeah, but we look good. You, on the other hand, not so much. You see where I'm coming from? <laughs> right here, I've <laughs> got it. Yes. Aren't you going to join the fun? Oh, not just yet. Oh, come on now. I've got a lot to celebrate. In fact, it seems like a happy ending all around. Maybe. But with more and more people coming to the jungle, I can't help but wonder. Wonder what? How long can it last? Let's join TJ and the gang next as they take a break in recess on Disney Cinemagic.